Tell you about love me, me, me. So I'm back again to give you some little known places to meet men. I know that I gave you some the other day, but I found some more and I want to share these. So stay tuned. All right, team, I love me, me, me. This one nobody sent in a question for today. It is now day 17, but I found some more um, places to meet men. These are called little known places because I had no idea that people was doing these. And so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and share these as well. They are going to want to know these places too. I have six places or little known places to meet more men quality men. All right. So the first one is I, I'm actually going to say through your family and friends. And I'm putting this one here because most people don't think about their family and friends or asking their family and friends to kind of help them out. Now, are there some family and friends that just want to help you out? Yes. But most of the time, that's not the first area that we think about to help us out. So use your social circle to help you out and actually i think i'm gonna do another video on that i'm gonna wait till after vlogmas but i'll do another video on um your friends and family and your social circles helping you out on dating so i'll just do that it'll, it'll come out in january but anyways i'm gonna move forward use your family and friends right now let everybody know you know um and those are the people that are going to be the best people to help you out and the reason why is because they know you they know your personality more than likely you guys have talked about what you are looking for in a mate and so even though you didn't give them the full list of what you're looking for you gave them enough detail because you guys have hung around each other for more than likely years by now and so they've gotten a pretty good idea of what you like what you're looking for in a mate all right so use your friend family and friends all right the second and third thing that i'm gonna, are going to give you are actually from the essence magazine that i was reading and it has some statistics behind it but i'm not going to give you the numbers but i just thought that they were very interesting because i would have never even thought to do this so the so the second thing is at the men's clothing store like a store that's specific to men single men are in there now this could be a little tricky because why are you going into the men's store like are you really on the prowl looking for men or actually or or are you trying to buy your dad something or even your man so that one could be a little tricky but um like if you happen to be a sales associate excuse me i can't speak if you happen to be a sales associate or even the manager that works there you might have a chance to see these single men that are coming in there and be able to strike up the conversation. You just never know where it could lead. I'm just saying that this one could be a little tricky, but I thought that it was worth mentioning. Number three, again, I got this from the Essence magazine as well. And I thought that this was very um, interesting as well, which is the Apple store. And I was like, what? But then it kind of makes sense because men love the electronics. And a lot of men definitely love the apple products now obviously there are other products out there this is not the go all be all the only thing that you know only electronic store however we all know that apple has a name for itself and like i'm even an apple person like a lot of my products that i have are apple and i'm kind of uh what's the word i'm looking for biased i am kind of biased but I didn't say this and I didn't even think about it. Essence Magazine put out this, stati this statistic that at the Apple store that they have actually found people that have met there and have actually gotten married. Not, not at the Apple store, but they met at the Apple store and then they end up getting married later on. So I just thought that that was very interesting. So I wanted to come here and share that with you. So think about the Apple store and think about men's clothing store. Fourth place that I want to share are the um, actual food events. Another place that I didn't even think of. Um, food events. So we, we all love to eat. But a lot of single men go because they like to eat too, right? And a lot of times they go in groups. So it might be a group of your girlfriends. You might meet a group of men. This could be something that could be nice and fun, like a great turnout. you know. Um, but think about food events. Go dress to the nines, right? <laughs> know what you want to talk about like i'm not saying that you have to keep a list but you should be able to have a conversation about something be able to be bold enough if you happen to see a guy that you want to speak with go and talk to him 
like don't worry about you being turned down because all of this is giving you practice to be the best you that you can be so you don't have to worry about being turned down all of us have been turned down and it also again it takes the pressure off the man at least for this particular moment moving on food events the fifth one is museums like especially like automotive or like the car museums or even the um, aeronautics and, and stuff where you can think that men um, would really love those are the type of museums that you can go to and potentially meet you a really nice guy it could even be the guy that works at the museum because that might be his thing right that might be his thing that also could be a stepping stone but it also could be his business you just never know he is really into this thing and I'm using cars for example because I've been to a car museum before and there were a lot more men at the car museums than there were women also the car auctions that one is a freebie that's not even on my list <laughs> the car auctions stuff like that just saying keep these things in mind little known places to meet quality men not just any men quality men the last place that I'm gonna mention ladies is actually at a low-key bar or a low-key lounge depending on which city and country and all that stuff that you're in but here's the key you don't go when the club is jumping you want to go to meet the quality man before or maybe even at the happy hour time right because these men are going in there just to get the cheap drinks let's keep it real they're going in there to get the cheap drinks maybe they might be some easy music playing they're going in there just to relax and chill possibly before they go home but once the club starts to jump in those men are the ones that are leaving they're not staying because they could be just tired of the bar scene. They could have never really been in the bar scene, but they're there that particular day. So keep that in mind. Go before the club is jumping. Have a better conversation. Easier time. It's happy hour. So now, if this is your very first time here to I Love Me, 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 you make sure that you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face. I'm so glad that you guys are sticking around with me through this Vlogmas December 2017. We are definitely on the opposite half of making these videos for the month of December. I love you guys so much. Share my information with everybody that you know who could, who could use this information. And of course, give me thumbs up. See you tomorrow. Mwah.